video number five. So the app has been designed with Google 2.5 Gemini Pro. And during the development of the app, I didn't really know which AI to go with. So there's like all sorts of different AI models that everyone's familiar with, like your ChatGPT, your DeepSeek, your Gemini, Perplexity, Grok, and a few others. And I was like, which of these is the best? So my back-end developer that I'm paying has got access to all of these different AIs and we fed them the data and I picked the best one. I was expecting ChatGPT to be the best, but it wasn't. This, we did this as the Pepsi challenge. It was just output some text from the data file and tell me which is the best. I'm gonna read it. it was Gemini 2.5. And then it was ChatGPT, and then it was some of these others. So as you know, as you're using an AI for your job or for whatever it is you're doing, if you put rubbish in, you get rubbish out. It's all about the prompt. It's all about the data, and it's all about describing what you want, who's your character, what output do you want, what format do you want the text in. So in the LT app, there's a huge amount of work behind the scenes that's gone into extracting all the right data from the data files and then using Gemini 2.5 to analyze the sessions and to then output using this backend prompt, a structure and a coaching style that I think was best. All your data files from your Garmin is then fed into the LT app. It's extracted all of the data that I could possibly extract, whether this is cadence, speed, heart rate, all the way through to ground contact time. Let's tell you, how long is your foot on the floor? You know, left, right balance. I've even introduced core temperature, which is something I'm using at the moment. Within the app, there's a performance questionnaire. And this is effectively asking you as a prompt, what do you want the output to be? What are your goals? What are your achievements? What are your personal best times? Are you in PB shape? You know, what are your goals for the rest of the year? How do you like to train? You can put in things into here to do with technically, how are you trying to run? How are you trying to cycle? Are there any things you're trying to implement? Like make sure you do a warm up, make sure that you do a cool down and you can put in here if you want things like minute miles, minute kilometers. You can write down your running power, cycling power. You can also calculate your heart rate. So if you don't want to do a lactate test or you don't know your heart rate zones, put into here, what's your resting heart rate? When you're sat on a sofa, and you sat there with a cup of tea or whatever, how low does your heart rate go? And then if you're in a race or you're absolutely maxed effort, how high does your heart rate go? And what this then does is it calculates your, your running zones or your heart rate zones. And you can use this within each of one of your sessions and the AI will tell you if you're running too fast or you're pushing too fast. That way you can get much more structured output from the AI. So fill out your target times, fill out your goals. If you've had a history of Achilles injuries or knee problems, fill this out. The AI within the app customizes the output based on your input. So it will look at all of your sessions. It will look at your performance questionnaire. I think got a lot in the background that says this is exactly the structure of the output. These are things that I think would be useful for athletes like analyze their data, give them some structure about what to do better next time, how to improve the quality for next time. Maybe try doing this, maybe try doing that, add some strides. If it was an intense session and your recovery wasn't good enough and then you didn't meet the intensity required for the harder part, the AI analyzes every single part, every pedal stroke, every minute, every second, and then gives you feedback. So make sure to share the app. If you wanna like and subscribe, do it. If you don't, I don't care. Stop going on your phone, go for a run. Get a treadmill, get a cross trainer, and just enjoy the fitness. Enjoy the easy training. So thanks for watching me in this run. This is video number five. Make sure to check out the other videos. I just want to give actually practical advice from a father of two 
with a full-time job, mortgage. I can't just quit and go and live on the top of a mountain. I can't run 300 kilometers a week. I can run on my lunch break. I wanna help you to enjoy the easy training so that you can eat what you want, drink what you want, and lose some weight so that you feel good at the next family holiday when you're forced to take your shirt off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.